Well, ladies and gentlemen, what is up, guys? We're, we're back here for yet another banger video, and today we're going to be diving into gear ratios and gear ratios, especially for bait casting reels. I'm not going to cover a whole lot of spinning reel gear ratios, um, just because they're they're just they're kind of there in my book. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I do know more stuff about. Uh, gear ratios for bait casting reels and uh, the reel that I'm going to be demoing um, or kind of going along and showing you guys um, like being my example for today is the 13 fishing origin a it's this beauty right here and uh, this runs for a solid I think around eighty dollars and uh, it's, it's pretty good I've got a couple of these and uh, they're pretty sweet so um, I'm gonna dive in to uh, gear ratios kind of what they mean and then um, kind of why I use a lot of higher gear ratios and that kind of thing so first of all gear ratio the gear ratio of a reel pretty much means the speed and how fast it brings in line uh, how fast you turn your handle and for every full turn of the handle how much line is uh, being brought onto the spool and how fast it's going so that's kind of what the gear ratio is just kind of in general alright so the first reason why is one you get your bait back faster and I was actually watching an, a video by Aaron Martin um, a pro fisherman guy and uh, over why he uses fast gear ratio reels and he he gave an excellent example so this is not from me this is from him but he said that if there's a fish busting and you're throwing top order you're throwing a buzz bait or frog or a spook or whopper plopper whatever just say you're throwing a top order bait and you have already committed your cast in this direction but yet a fish blows up 20 feet away in this direction you know to your right and you already cast it right in front of you you that bait can hit the water and you can burn it super fast back and then you can get that cast off 20 feet a 20 foot cast accurately and quickly and the thing is is like you could you could do that all with an 8 1 to 1 be great now if you're with a 7 1 to 1 you might be 10 to 15 uh, feet behind or you could be two to three seconds behind uh, behind an 8 1 to 1 you could you, I could just with with this reel uh, an 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel I could had already made that cast just made that cast and you might just be getting your bait back to the boat and that is very critical in a game of seconds even um, those two to three seconds that you might not you might miss just because your reel is not as fast as another guy's reel could be could mean either you not catching the fish or somebody else catching the fish uh, the guy in the back of the boat catching the fish and you not catching that fish you know um, which tournament fishermen can be very critical uh, and just like heck if you want to catch fish it's kind of critical too you know so um, that that's one thing also just getting getting the fish back to the boat um, and, and getting them on either on land or like I said get, get them back to the boat uh, but before they shake their head a lot of fish that's a tactic that they love to use whenever they get hooked they realize they get hooked they start flopping everywhere you know um, they love to shake their head shake their head you know and uh, and they try they try to spit that hook and that's that's how they do it a lot of the times is they come up out of the water they go like this you know shake their head a little bit and the hook flies out you know um, and so but if you have that gear ratio reel or if you have that 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel or just like a, a fast gear ratio reel in general and you put your rod tip down the water to keep them underwater and you're grinding on that reel you can get that fish back to the boat super fast and you just you just keep grinding them and and he'll, he'll get there you know um, so that's one example the uh, another one is uh, that Aaron Martin said in his video I'll put the link down to that video down in the description but he said that in one of his uh, past tournaments he he had a one-to-one -one gear issue reel and there were there were two there were like 
he was maybe fishing docks or whatever, and there were a couple of pylons um, or or like big big poles, you know, like for a dock or whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, and a fish was in between those. He made a cast in between those. And the thing is, is if you get your line nicked on one of those, that could that could mean breaking that line and the fish getting away and you don't get you know you don't get that fish to make the cut and then you don't get that mu that extra money you know um, and so you get you get him to bite and you can grind him until he's out of those 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 big poles and then he doesn't have that chance to rub up against some the line against some of those or get tangled around them um, and you get you get him in you get them away from the danger faster. You, you, you guys kind of get the flow here. So those are some things. And then the thing that I always say whenever people ask me, uh, what gear ratio reels should I get? Uh, or what do I use in particular? And I always use, like I said, the fastest I can get. Um, so I've got a couple of these reels. Uh, but what I always say is you can always slow down but you can't go as fast as you can go you know so an 8 1 to 1 right here say you have a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio reel this 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel can can reel at a 4 1 to 1 or 4 a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio speed it can do it but the 6 4 to 1 can't reel an 8 1 to 1 you kind of get the flow here um, and so you can always slow down on a fast gear ratio reel you might not always say you this might be like a 5 1 to 1 or whatever um, and then maybe like a 6 1 to 1 and a 7 1 to 1 and then an 8 1 to 1 you know but uh, you, you don't technically know that but a uh, this one can slow down and if you have a 6 1 to 1 or a 7 1 to 1 you're gonna be going like this and you still can't catch up to an 8 1 to 1 you know that's that's kind of the thing I always say, um, and then if you're throwing a topwater along a bank or a chatterbait or a swim jig or whatever, a, a, a moving bait. This is all this video is completely towards moving baits. Um, you get that fish hooked and you're already maxed out. Say you're throwing a six four to one and you're already re you were already reeling that bait super fast, but that fish decides to go even faster than your reel. You can't speed up. You know, but if I'm throwing a top order with this reel, or just a fast gear ratio reel in general, and I, I catch that fish, I can speed up with that fish, but a 6 4 to one can't. So, um, those are kind of some of my tips over what gear ratio reels to choose, and kind of how to base your facts uh, and your knowledge on what reel to get, and uh, just kind of put that into your, to your mind, let it soak, let that mind soak the knowledge or whatever you know um and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed and uh actually yesterday was my first day of driving legally by myself so you, i'm gonna be going quite a few more fishing spots so you guys stay tuned for that but uh other than that thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed and uh, i will catch you guys on the next episode of lmb nation peace guys